Hey guys and girls, how's it going? Oh, I didn't even know these had thumb holes in it. Isn't that cute? I just love thumb holes. Um, happy Thursday, I believe, I hope. Um, also, I will let you guys know, um, now that I'm shooting so many videos again and I've got like a system I figured out. I think there might be several days a week that I dedicate to shooting, um, real professional-like. And so I might shoot several videos in um, kind of like one day and we're definitely gonna be at different locations. So uh, you might actually see me outside of my kitchen. Won't that be awesome? Yay! I'm always the one that told me I need to get out of my kitchen. But if I put this somewhere else, then it ends up taking me like seven hours to figure out lighting. I don't have any of that professional stuff right now. Um, for lighting and here I go futzing with my hair again. Maybe I should just make myself up here so that you can't see the top of my hair. Anyway, um, let's just make sure because every time I think that I fix my hair then I will upload my video and there will be like a piece sticking out like this the whole, the whole video and I can't see it so I'm just trying to look normal even though I'm not. Um, okay, you guys I talked about in my last video and I'm so fired up about this stuff. I'm so fired up because I finally, you guys, I know I'm just gonna keep saying this again and again and again. It's just, it is the most massive relief. I have the most massive injection of incite, excitement um, about my future because of going out, getting this blood work done, seeing this doctor and knowing that I have a plan that is designed just for me that we monitor every week, we tweak it every week, and it's going to address every single thing that in the past four or five years has just been this obscure thing floating out there. I mean, for those of you that have been watching my videos for a while, you've heard me talk about stuff like this, and you can probably go back and go, she should have gone four years ago. Yeah, I should have gone. Uh, hold on. Uh, I'm just making a point. It's already down to there. Did I? Do, well, no, it's up to there. <laughs> anyway, <sighs> I was thirsty, um, clearly. But again, um, so many of these. That's going to be my next video. Is is talking about how, as women, and again, don't get me wrong, guys. There's plenty of men that can experience hormonal imbalance. I think it's easier for men to recognize that there's something completely jacked with themselves because they would be experiencing symptoms that aren't typical. Um, but again, I'm going to talk about that in my next video, are, are the side effects, and well, I'll get to that. What I wanted to talk about today is um, so many of you, and I mentioned this in my last in my last video, but I feel this needs to be addressed too. And number one, remember, I just. I feel like I have to disclose this because we're getting into stuff where I'm recommending a lot of stuff. A, I'm not a doctor. B, I don't even come close to being a doctor or a trainer or a nutritionist or anything certified other than a certified awesome person. But I'm not prescribing anything. I am sharing my stuff with you, my experience, my, um, yeah, I, my experience the past three or four years and then what I'm going through and the doctor, certainly that doctors that I can recommend for those of you. But I also will tell you, you know, you can research and probably find someone in your area. I can tell you this, there are not specialists that have had the education, that have had the training that can uh, assess somebody accurately and, you know, dole out and design an effective natural bioidentical um, hormone replacement therapy program for you. They're not everywhere. It's not like you can go, well, who's that person in Cleveland, Ohio? You might have a state where you're not going to find somebody. Um, and that's just life. This is not something that's been around for a while, uh, but it is something that changes people's lives. But back to what I'm hearing from a lot of you. A lot of you guys are writing me. You're putting comments on my blogs. Facebook messages, Twitter messages, emails, um, and it, it gets me excited. It gets me excited because if this many of you are responding when I've just started sharing this, just, what, several days maybe? Imagine how many women we can reach if we all start, you know, kind of 
spreading spreading the word, spreading my videos, my blog, the, the stuff we're gonna do on Fitfluential, inviting people to Twitter chats, connecting them with these great doctors and stuff. We can help so many women. I mean, I know I sound like, oh, I'm on a soapbox, um, but I am because I know what it's like to have, you know, you, you feel like you're in someone else's body, you're dealing with stuff and, and nobody understands it. Nobody understands what it's like to, um, you know, let's say from a fitness perspective, work your ass off and eat right and, and you're just stuck or maybe you're um, in a different position. Maybe you're just, you've, you've had the hormonal imbalance. Maybe you know a little bit of the hormonal imbalance. You, you might have had a blood, a simpler blood test, not as an extensive a blood blood test, and and you have an idea that you have a thyroid issue or or you're whatever, and and you're trying to start losing weight, you're trying to start working out, and you're not getting anywhere, or you're like me who is trying to get further, and I've already come far as far as you know back in the day losing a certain amount of weight and getting leaner, but you just you're working your ass off and, and you're eating ridiculously healthy and, and you're doing all the things everybody says, getting sleep, eating right, supplementing, and nothing happens, nothing. You just stay in exactly the same place and you hear from people all the time, you look great, what are you worrying about? And inside, you feel like you're in hell because you're like, I'm not the size I should be, I'm not comfortable in my clothes. I, you know, For me, it was like, I can't sleep, I had to take pills every night to get to sleep, et cetera, p.m., uh, Advil p.m. for like the past four or five years. Um, I'm exhausted in the afternoon. Um, you know, I, like I said, I'm not comfortable in my, I'm, I'm always feeling like, you know, you know, I'm evaluating, what am I doing that's not working? You know, what did I eat in this year? And when, when was I happiest? And when, when I got there, what was I doing? And never, never, never did I ever put these things together to go, well, wait a minute. That was that sh that time period that I was off the pill and I had the best results ever. Like I never thought about it. I never ever thought about the pills, the 200 milligrams of spironolactone that I've been on for, what is it, 2015, six years. Well, five and a half. Um, never, never thought about it. I just thought, this is what they told me I'm going to be on for the rest of my life. But the, ma the major point that I want to say from this video is... All of you that are writing to me and that tell me you have a friend or your girlfriend or whatever that's dealing with this and you're going to tune in, I'm excited for you, but some of you are writing to me and this is not me scolding you, it's me telling you, take it from me, learn from me. You're saying, oh, I'm going to, you know, some of you are saying, I'm going to research this, I just want, I got a ton of books or, um, you know, my doctor's giving me this, I'm going to see what else he can give me, I've been doing this for three years. Um, or I'm going to find this out. I think I'm hypothyroid or I think I have adrenal fatigue, blah, blah, blah. That was me, you guys, for four or five years, okay? Number one, thinking that I could read a book and figure it out. If you go in my office in the other room, I should take you in there. Actually, I should do one of my next videos and bring all the books I have. I have all the Suzanne Summers books. I have and actually, she's part of uh, Fitfluential now, Dr. Brooke. There's no way I'm going to even try to say her last name. Um, she has a book on hormonal balance with Joe Dowdell. Um, all of these things are incredibly well written. But you read them, and if you're not a specialist and you're not a doctor, sometimes I think you can read them. And, and if you're like me, you read them and go, oh, okay, well, they say you can take this, you can't take this. But guess what? Dr. Brooke has written a book. Um, Suzanne Summers has written a book. She knows what's right for her. When you're talking about hormones, the thing that you'll start to learn once you see a specialist is it's a very precise adjustment for each person. Your blood work is different from somebody else. It's not like weight loss and fitness where a trainer who's dealing with somebody who is normal, okay, they know that if you are at this starting point and you eat this much and you work out this much, it's a scientific equation. It's like this will work. If you are, if you're following this protocol, it will work. And then if that, you know, if you get to this point and we want to tweak it, then we can do this for more muscle. We can do this for more weight loss. We can test carbs out. We can test this. But there are certain things that are equations that work kind of across the board and they don't need to know what your DNA is and your blood work. With hormones, 
every single person is different and that treatment is going to be different. And so reading a book or researching it just gives you information overload. I have read every single book on hormonal balance, adrenal fatigue, cortisol, all that stuff. Okay. I didn't get anywhere. I didn't have a, tr I, I would look and it would be like, well, you can take this and you can take this and you can do essential oils. And you, well, where do you start? How do you know? And I'll tell you right there, all of that stuff might help. But if you have the kind of jacked up internal hormonal system like me, and like I know a lot of you guys do, it, it's not gonna help you to start adding essential oils. It's not gonna help you to start having less carbs. Um, that might help little things, but you need to make a big difference. And guess what? No book is gonna tell you, and I'm pretty sure I could be wrong. I've been wrong before. You can't just go to a drugstore and get bioidentical hormonal replacement therapy and customize it for yourself. I, I, I mean, that has to be done by somebody who knows everything, who can look at your, ev your blood work and say, you need this and you need it in, let's start with this dose and then let's test that and you also need this, this, and this. I mean, the, the stuff that I'm gonna start, you guys, and I'll ask, I'm sure it's okay that I share it with you, but you can't go and read my blog and say, I'll take what Kelly's taking because I think I have what she has. That's not how it works. So I guess what I want to say in this blog, and then I'm going to, you know, close it up, is I just want to recommend to all of you guys, don't do what I did. Don't get waste, don't waste, don't get wasted. Don't waste your time doing a lot of research thinking you can figure this out on yourself. It's not my goal to make you guys go out and spend a crap ton of money. It, it's not cheap, okay? My treatment plan is probably gonna run me about $650 a month, but guess what? I figured it was gonna be several thousand dollars a month. That's what I thought. Um, and my program will get less and less as the medicine starts to work, as the treatment starts to work. I shouldn't say medicine. Um, we taper down on a lot of those, so the cost will actually go down. And then it's, you just get into a maintenance mode. But I guess it, it saddens me to see if any of you are saying, well, I'm just going to go read a bunch of books. Books are only going to get you, to, in, my information, in my experience, information overload. Number two, for those of you that are saying, I've been seeing a doctor. He's giving me a lot of drugs. I'm not getting anywhere. I'm going to go see him again. I think you need to say that you need to change your doctor. And trust me when I tell you, there's a lot of doctors out there that don't know what they're talking about. And I love doctors. I'm surrounded by them. Um, but take, just take my advice. This is for you. I don't make any money from certain doctors. When I tell you guys about Dr. Riska or Dr. Brooke or this person or that person, I don't make any money. I just want you guys to get out of the hormonal hell that I've been in and pass it on. Let's pass on the hormonal happiness, people, okay?